Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Lil Eddie from the NY. Right now, I gotta give a shout out to my people at FourStollar.com, event community for Bremen. Definitely holding it down right here. Yo, I'll check y'all later. Check out my new music coming real soon, Lil Eddie. I'm out. To the spot, this mommy was on the set, set. True down, super fly, almost thought she was highly very, very. So you know how to work yourself in an enemy dress, yes. Okay, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von Forza Backstage heute im Park Hotel. Mit Lil Ellie, hallo. <lacht> Der heute, ähm, New York, New York aufdrehen wird und seine neue Single Cameo vorstellen wird und auch seine neue Single Nightlife. Yes, okay. Do you have a nice fly? Oh, uh, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Cool okay. fly. Okay, um, your last gig in your brain was in Oiton, Capitol, uh, one year ago. And uh, can you remember this event? How were the people and the club? Oh, uh, yeah, the club was hot. The club was big. The club was full of energy. The people were good. The love was there. So I was looking forward to come back. I'm happy I'm back in Germany now, you yeah. know. Okay, um, your career began on the streets of uh, Spanish Harlem. Uh, I read on your MySpace site you slept and you slept in cars and fought for your life. And how did you manage it to become famous as you are nowadays? Well, it was just you know I, I believe it. it was just in God's plan. You know, um, I just the minute I, f I knew I, I loved music, I just kept pursuing it. And the more I pursued it, I guess the closer I got to my dreams. And um, I just was blessed to 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 meet the right people. And get from one place to the next, and I never gave up. You know, put God first. Yes, um, your first album, Nobody's Fool, released when you were 90 years old. Yes. And um, how was it to work together with big stars like P. Diddy and so? Oh, it was great. It was it was great. You know, those people um, like Puffy and Mario. They been in the game for so long. They know what they're doing, and they're incredible people, incredible musical people. So it was a blessing to work with people that was just as musical and had the same passion for music like I did. You have a new hit, Nightlife, <laughs> and um, can you describe the song and when do you release it? Um, well, Nightlife is just a, a, a song talking about, um, you know, <laughs> being in a relationship and and things things going a little bad. So you so you're just saying like I'm too young to I'm too young to be inside and 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 be sad. So I'm a, I'm just gonna go and and hang out and enjoy the nightlife. And the nightlife is. You know, whatever it is, it's crazy. You never know what happens in the nightlife. So, um, basically, the song the song basically just got leaked really quickly. So, I really don't have a, a, a actual release date, but you know, real soon, real soon, it'll be releasing. Uh, in my opinion, I think Camille is your best song. Uh, the beat is really nice. And yes, um, this song is still played in a lot of clubs here in Germany. And um, what's your favorite personal track at the moment? I mean, I got a lot of a lot of the new stuff that I've been doing that um, nobody's heard yet. Um, I think the new stuff is really showing a side of me that nobody's seen before. And uh, you know, the more I get older, the more I get to know myself and learn who I am. The music becomes more real, you know. So I think the newest stuff, check out for it. It's it's really really crazy. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I read that you are a very big producer too. And um, how did it come to the connection to the German band Monroes? Oh wow! Well, I just um that really happened. I didn't even know it happened. I I knew that um Monroes was thinking about doing the record, and actually I found out when the album came out, and I was in Germany, and I picked up the album that my song was on the on the record for sure. I just do a lot of writing in the states. I'm a songwriter as well, so I work with a lot of producers, and sometimes the producers just move the records around and they move so quickly I and mean, you never know what happens like right now I got I have a um, song on Kylie Minogue's album X that's coming out real soon I just wrote a song on her album and it's called All I See um, I did that with Cutfather and, and, jo and Jonas as well so that's coming out as well um, Tara the girl female well, pop princess Tara I did about four or five record songs on her album so I just you know I do a lot of writing as well as, as well as doing my own artist project Do you write your songs by yourself? Well, some songs? some songs I write alone, but some songs I have a, I have a partner named Aritza. Mm -hmm. um, we have a company called E E Two E Squared. Her name is Aritza. My name is Eddie. She's written for a lot of stars too. She's we both signed to EMI as writers, and some songs we write together. But a lot of a lot of songs I do write alone, and um, 
whatever whenever I write I talk about something I've been through or something I see somebody else going through so they all personal experiences everything I write yes, um, do you have any example like uh, Timberland the producer or Sky Storch uh, um, like like uh, people I look up to yeah yeah, yeah definitely um I mean, Timberland is Timberland has always been somebody I love. Like since I was young, I think he knows what the he knows what the people like. He knows what the club likes. Um, you know, Mario Wine is working with him for so long. I learned so much from him. Um, Rodney Jerkins, I work with him, and um, I always love Rodney Jerkins. And just um, you know, a lot of the artists, Usher, Beyonce, a lot of a lot of what people are doing. Whitney Houston, a lot of the old school artists, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway. Everyone gives me a little bit of um, inspiration. And, um, you know, I take it and make it and, and mold it into my own career, into my own artistry. Okay, um, yeah, I think uh, you are very famous in here in Germany and your songs are very successful. And, uh, yeah, what are your plans for the future? future? <laughs> well, I just, I keep, I plan to keep doing music and keep doing music that the people like and to hopefully, you know, get, um, uh, kind of do movies, do a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? Start my own label, my own artist, bring him to Germany. What's the name of the label? <laughs> well, it's 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 E Square, E Square Music and um Tick Tick Boom is two different two different um production companies I'm working with right now that are my production companies and um I have a couple artists I'm working on and, and you know you guys hear it first once I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> yes, and now we uh, come to Germany and do you know some German words? I don't know a lot. I know um, Danke, <laughs> thank you. Was geht ab? For the young crowd, for the young people. I, I mean, I don't know too many German words. I'm, I travel so much, so I'm always trying to remember a word and attach it to the country. So, like today, I asked Mike. I was like, Mike, Danke is German, right? So, I travel so much, I be forgetting. But um, you know, I love Germany. Germany's like a second home to me. Everyone's so good to me. Both say entertainment's always been there for me, so always got to rep them, say thank you to them, and you know Mike and everybody, DJ Daka, all the people that I I met out here, Mad Dog, Mirko, you know, Crazy Tunes, all them people been so good to me. So Germany's become like my second, my second home, you know. And uh, do you know something about Bremen, the city here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much about it. Football team, Werder Bremen. Oh, oh, yeah, the 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 famous um, well, football, soccer. Yeah, I know about. Yeah, I know about them. I know about that, but I don't really know a lot of the history of Germany. But um, I do know about the soccer team. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the interview. It wasn't okay.